That's going to be the front. So here goes our crown of thorns. This is one of the many medusiform tentacly type of euphorbia. And the nice thing about this is you can kind of wind it around and behind and make it look like it's reaching all over the place. So large plants in back, smaller ones are going to go in front. Not necessary, but nice is to have a cool rock in there to kind of make it look like a natural miniature landscape, which is what I'm always kind of trying to do is make it look like a small version of something you might find in nature. And many hybrid echeverias. Wedge it on in there. Leaving the front somewhat open. It's nice to have a cascading type of plant in there. Also. I want something in front that's going to stay small in front of this rock. How common is Titanopsis? Not common. It's it's uh they're just weird little rock plants. Um, nice for you know between cracks if you're gonna put in the landscape between the cracks and the rocks or something mm -hmm. like that. They do have a nice little flower. And there we go. A cascading hanging cactus. The front is facing towards you. This is one of the many new Kelly Griffin hybrid aloes. A miniature aloe. I think I'm going to use the obisa. And I, I like the way you're combining colors and textures, um, yeah. as well as, as different heights and sizes. This is a, uh, a falcaria. A falcaria. And that gets the bright yellow flowers. Yes, bright yellow, a little bit of orange color in the uh, fall, usually. So What's your address here, Jeff? 355 North Highway 101 in Solana Beach, which is next to Del Mar, which is next to La Jolla, which is next to San Diego. And lastly, I'm going to get a little gravel top dressing right here from my driveway. This is, a, again, a cosmetic step, but it makes it kind of look kind of Just natural. It's a finishing it's touch. Light requirements. This should sit out in Southern California in full sun most uh -huh. of the year. It can get rained on. It should be watered once a week in the non-rainy time of the year. In the cold climate, you don't probably want to bring it indoors in the wintertime. So we're at Solana Succulents Nursery in Solana Beach, California. This is Jeff Moore, the owner and designer. Jeff does big landscapes as well, and he can whip out these dish gardens pretty darn fast. I think that was about five minutes. Probably. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Thank you.